developed our most recently developed program, Kronos, which is a high frequency or short time frame time dependent solver using finite difference time domain. And the first model you're looking at here is a thin dielectric slab with a conductive coating on it. And of course this could represent various things. This one is titled three band stop filter. The basic physics involved here could be indicative of patch antennas and the like. So what this model has been set up to do is to send a modulated pulse it's starting at one end. And if we skip over to simply show what sort of thing you can get out of a model like this, then as the pulse propagates, we can map out something like the electric field on the top surface of the conductive strip like I've done here. So you can see that the time being shown right now is 0.04 nanoseconds and I can manually advance the time. You may notice that I'm using a logarithmic scale because the fields vary quite dramatically from point to point. I can also choose to just let the program animate over time here. And what you see is, of course, as the signal propagates down, the signal divides and it reflects off of the ends here. So you get some very interesting shapes evolving. By doing a Fourier transformation, it's also possible to take your time results and transform them into frequency domain results. So in another tab of our outputs here we have some plots defined and here we can show plots of the electric field which are related to specific frequencies 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz and so on. Again by doing a Fourier transform and of course other things that are pulled out automatically include numbers like what are the voltages at the ports that are used to define the pulse. The other high frequency time domain type of model that I'll show very briefly here is simulating a lightning strike hitting the nose tip of an airplane. And the way this is modeled is by treating the lightning strike as a full impulse wave coming down a conductive line and hitting the tip. So once the model has been analyzed we could again do propagating signals but this particular solution was set up to show some time domain results. So for example a couple of points were selected in the vicinity of the plane and the question was asked what is the electric field at those points over time. So when we look at the plots at the selected point that as the lightning strike occurs the electric field rises very rapidly and then slowly decays away. So one can study for example what is the interference effect in the vicinity of the plane due to the strike.